Hello. So today we're going to be reading a book called The Girl Who Spoke in Pictures, the story of Dr. Temple Grandin, written by Julia Finley Mosca and illustrated by Daniel Riley. My name is Miss Winokur and welcome to 21st Century. Super excited for you all to watch our first video. So today we're going to be learning about a biography and some vocabulary that you might have heard of before, but we're going to look at it in a different light. So what you need to know is this book is a biography. So a biography is a book that is based on somebody's life. This is not the person who the book is about, but it's somebody who wrote a book about somebody. So our person who this book is about is Dr. Temple Grandin. And she was just this amazing, amazing doctor who actually invented a bunch of things that work with um, the ranch or like a farm to help improve people's work there. So this book is actually a picture book, but it's told in nonfiction, meaning it's true. So the story is based on true information. What you need to know is that this biography is a nonfiction book and nonfiction means a true story. So you will see how Temple grew up from when she was little to when she was older. So this is our vocabulary, unique. So when someone says you are unique, that means that you're not like anyone else. You might be really, really good at a talent. For example, I am really, 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 really not artistic. I'm not good at drawing. So that makes me unique. Because I, I mean, most people can draw really well. And then the next word is unusual. So unusual means not common or ordinary. So when some, someone says, oh, that's unusual, that's because it's not a very common thing. Taunted. Now taunted, our main character, Temple, she got taunted because people would make fun of her or mock them, make fun of them, mock them, repeat what they're doing. So you pay attention to when she gets taunted in the book. And then loner. So a loner is a person who likes to be alone. Frustration. Have you guys ever been frustrated because you couldn't do something? Well, frustra frustration, what causes you to be frustration is you get disappointed or upset. That's what frustrated means. So now we're gonna read the book and then we're gonna come back and talk about Temple. Hope you enjoy it. Hi there, so let's get started. So we're gonna be reading, like I've mentioned, The Girl Who Thought in Pictures. The story of Dr. Temple Grandin, written by Julia Finley Mosca and illustrated by Daniel Riley. Do you guys see, what do you notice about the cover? Pause this video. Right, so if you notice that she is thinking of math and animals and riding a horse and spaceships and winning first prize at the horse show and I'm not quite sure what this is and this looks like a cow but we'll find out wow look at the cover or the page behind the cover look at all the cows this gives us a clue as a reader that this book or Dr. Temple might work with animals, specifically cows and horses. If you've ever felt different now, if you have ever been low, if you don't quite fit in, there's a name that you should know. Temple Grandin's that's name. In her tale, you'll find glory. So get ready, get set for this cowboy's true story. So did you guys notice the rhyming that the author uses? That helps get the reader's attention. In the city of Boston, one hot summer day, a sweet baby was born. It was Temple, hooray. Just so you know, her name is Temple. Unique from the start, an unusual girl. She loves spinning in circles and watching things twirl. So unique is one of our vocabulary words. So is unusual. So we're, as we're reading, we're gonna explore what do you think those mean. But some things she hated, like certain loud sounds or bright crowded places, large cities and towns. Frilly dresses with tags made her itch, pull, and tug. Something else that she hated, a big squeezy hug. 
A shy loner, this temple, when she got mad, her feelings of stress and frustration got bad. Quite a tantrum she'd throw, kick, holler, bang, shriek, yet still by age three, no one, no word did she speak. So the last three pages have been about how, I'm going to go back so we can talk about temple. She didn't like loud sounds, which you can tell by the text, but you can also tell by the way she's looking. And she didn't like crowded places. She doesn't like dresses because they make her itch. And she doesn't like hugging. And so when you think about the word unique or unusual, I, I just imagine that this, usually a three-year-old likes hugs. And some little girls like to wear dresses. And little kids sometimes do like loud noises. So unusual just means different. And that's completely okay but what is insanely unusual is that she's not speaking so let's find out what happens she'll never be normal was what some would say her brain's not quite right you must send her away away not my temple her mother proclaimed we will figure this out you should all be ashamed so her mom took her to the doctor which i think all parents would do if your child wasn't speaking and had some different reactions to things and they're telling her to send her away and temple's mother is saying no then little by little through sometimes she balked special teachers helped temple and one day she talked and that one thing in her brain it was autism see she was different not less they all finally agreed like most kids her age, she loved ice cream and art. But the way Temple thought, that's what set her apart. If something was mentioned, for instance, a fly, in her mind she'd see dozens of photos buzz, buzz by. When the time came for school, let's just say that it was hard. Kids taunted and chased her all over the yard. They picked on poor Temple, how crazy it drove her. They teased her for saying things over and over. Look at her, and over and over and over. So the children are taunting her. They are making fun of her. How do you think she feels? Remember, this is a biography book. This is all about her story. The biography, but it's being told as a narrative story. Did you know that authors can write a biography about themselves in, and make it into a picture book? Until finally she snapped. Yes, she did. She lost her cool. Threw a book at a kid and was kicked out of school. No one really got Temple, but then again, the truth of it was Temple didn't get them. You need time away, said her mother. That's what's best. You'll go visit your aunt on a ranch way out west. So the mom and Temple got to a point where they felt like she needed to go. So I'm hoping we figure out why there's so many cows on the cover. And guess what? Fitting in on a farm was way less stress since the pigs don't care if her hair was a mess. Quite a sweet spot she had for the cows in her herds. Such gentle big beasts who knew nothing of words. As she watched her new friends, a thought popped into her head. These cows think like me in pictures instead. So she's thinking she's made some friends with the animals. Hi guys! So unfortunately my video got frozen, so I have to go back and refilm the rest of it. But guess what? We're going to start at the part where Temple goes to a new school. So, let's get started. At school that fall, Temple found more support and a teacher who taught her, you'll never fall short. When you find what you're good at, like science, you'll soar. And that teacher was right, he had opened a door. So she built a machine like she'd seen on some farms, an invention that hugged her with boards and not arms. It worked, she had done it, from memory it's true. And just like that, the cows, it made Temple calm, too. I'm special, she thought. 
like a bright shooting star, my attention to details could help me go far. Through her studies, she learned that there were farms were not so kind. I will help them, she said, some solutions she'd find. And then something cool. Can you guess? Could it be? Off to college she went. And though ladies weren't experts at farms at that time, don't think that stopped Temple. No way she did fine. She stepped through the door and went forward. No tears. She took on the world, but at times she had fears. Because some things were scary, like people she'd met who'd ignore her ideas and, well, wouldn't be sweet. But she never gave up, learned her stuff through and through. Do you guys know what that's called when you never give up? Uh, we're going to do a bonus vocabulary word. So that is called perseverance, when you keep on trying and never give up. But she never gave up, learned her stuff through and through, like why cattle will circle and what makes them moo. To build better farms was her goal. She would do it. Be kind to her creatures. They have feelings. She knew it. And surely, but slowly, so many minds were changed. Until farm after farm, her designs were built. Word had spread about Temple. Her feet, not so small. Temple Grandin, she's grand. She's the grandest of all. Now for these things and more, she'd win honors and prizes. And a movie was made. And the biggest surprise is that the girl with the future that couldn't be bleaker. Yes, that once silent girl. Well, now she's a big speaker. Today she spreads hope with her stories and speeches. From New York to Sydney to Rome, Temple teaches. Each person is special, so unique are our minds. This world needs your ideas. It takes brains of all kinds. So here is a lesson feeling odd or offbeat. Being different might just be what makes you neat. Don't let doubt hold you back, not for one minute more. Stand tall like temple. March right through that door. So the m lesson of this story, the biography teaches something. And not all biographies do that. So we're going to read this little message from Temple. Dear reader, as a child, I was really glad that my mother always encouraged my ability in art. I encourage you to find something you're get good at and work on developing it. If you're interested in becoming a scientist like me, find cool new ways to look at something, such as microscopes and telescopes. Explore nature, think up your own hands-on science experiments. Keep learning, especially from your mistakes. Temple Grandin. So to end this story, I want you to remember that Temple Grandin was told by her teachers and doctors that there was something wrong with her and her mother stood up for her and encouraged her to be herself and her unique brain caused her to become a world scientist and helped create inventions that farmers use today and she won prizes and they made a movie about her and keep on trying to be your best self because guess what? You're awesome and whatever you put your mind to will happen.